Imagine you're standing on the edge of a deep, dark valley. You can't see the bottom, but you know it's filled with pain, sorrow, and uncertainty. It feels like life has thrown everything it has at you, and you're struggling to find solid ground. Maybe you've recently lost a loved one, or you're battling a serious illness. Perhaps you're facing financial hardship, or your dreams have been shattered by unexpected setbacks. Whatever the case may be, the weight of your burden feels unbearable, and you wonder if you'll ever find relief. In moments like these, how do you find the strength to keep moving forward? How do you trust in God when life hurts? Friends, today we're diving into a topic that speaks to the very core of our faith, trusting God even when life hurts. It's a journey that each of us will inevitably face, a journey through valleys and mountaintops, through joy and pain. But even in our darkest moments, there is light to be found. Think about a time in your life when you felt like everything was falling apart. Maybe it was the loss of a loved one, a job that didn't work out, or a relationship that ended in heartache. In those moments, it can feel like the weight of the world is crushing down on you, leaving you gasping for air. But here's the thing, no matter how heavy the burden, no matter how deep the pain, you are never alone. God is there, right beside you, holding you up when you can't stand on your own. He sees every tear you shed, hears every cry of your heart, and He promises to never leave you, nor forsake you. So as we journey together through this message, I want you to remember one thing. You are loved. You are valued. And you are never beyond the reach of God's grace. Let's explore together what it means to trust in Him, even when life hurts, and discover the hope and strength that can only be found in His unfailing love. Life isn't always sunshine and rainbows. We all experience pain. It's a universal part of the human experience. Whether it's the sting of rejection, the ache of loss, or the burden of illness, pain comes in many forms and can strike when we least expect it. Think about the last time you felt truly overwhelmed by life's challenges. Maybe it was a sudden illness that turned your world upside down or perhaps it was the loss of a loved one that left you feeling empty and alone. Whatever the source of your pain, it's important to acknowledge that it exists. Pain is not something to be ignored or brushed aside. It's a reality that we must confront head on. When we acknowledge our pain, we give ourselves permission to feel, to grieve, and to heal. It's okay to admit that life isn't always easy and that sometimes it hurts. But here's the thing, acknowledging our pain doesn't mean giving in to despair. It's not about wallowing in self-pity or dwelling on what could have been. Instead, it's about facing our pain with courage and resilience, knowing that we are not alone in our struggles. In the Bible, we see countless examples of people who faced pain and adversity with unwavering faith. From Job, who endured unimaginable suffering, to Jesus himself, who bore the weight of the world's sin on the cross, the pages of scripture are filled with stories of perseverance in the face of pain. So if you're feeling overwhelmed by life's challenges, know that you're not alone. Acknowledge your pain, but don't let it define you. Hold on to hope, knowing that God is with you, in the midst of your struggles, ready to offer comfort, strength, and healing. Trusting in God isn't just about believing He exists. It's about putting our confidence in His character and His promises, especially when life throws us difficulties. Picture a child holding their parent's hand as they cross a busy street. The child trusts that their parent will guide them safely to the other side, even if they can't see what lies ahead. In the same way, we trust in God's guidance and protection, even when we can't see the road ahead clearly. God's wisdom surpasses our own, and His love for us knows no bounds. He sees the bigger picture, the intricate tapestry of our lives, and He works all things together for our good, even when it's hard to see it in the moment. 
Trusting God means surrendering our limited understanding and embracing His infinite wisdom. Think of trust as a muscle. It needs to be exercised and strengthened over time. The more we lean on God, the more our trust in Him grows. It's a process of letting go of our need for control and allowing God to take the reins of our lives. As we surrender to His will, we discover a newfound sense of peace and security, knowing that we are in His capable hands. Trusting God also means trusting His timing. We live in a culture of instant gratification where we want everything right now. But God operates on a different timetable, one that is perfect and purposeful. He knows the beginning from the end, and He orchestrates every detail of our lives according to His divine plan. So even when it feels like God is silent or distant, we can trust that He is working behind the scenes, weaving together a beautiful tapestry of grace and redemption. Ultimately, trusting God is an act of faith, a deliberate choice to believe in His goodness and His faithfulness, even when circumstances seem bleak. It's like planting a seed and trusting that it will eventually bloom into a beautiful flower, even if we can't see it happening underground. So let's cultivate trust in God, nourishing it with prayer, meditation, and a steadfast belief in His promises. And as we do, we'll find that our faith becomes an anchor in the storms of life, holding us steady and secure, no matter what comes our way. In times of trouble, it's easy to feel like we're alone in our struggles. But the truth is, we have a source of strength that's always available to us, our faith in God. When life knocks us down, it's our faith that helps us get back up again. Think about the story of David and Goliath. Against all odds, a young shepherd boy faced a giant warrior with nothing but a sling and a stone. What gave him the courage to stand firm? It was his unwavering faith in God's power to deliver him. Similarly, when we face our own giants, whether it's sickness, financial hardship, or broken relationships, our faith becomes our greatest weapon. It's what empowers us to keep fighting, to keep believing, even when the odds are stacked against us. But drawing strength from faith isn't just about mustering up enough belief to get through tough times. It's about recognizing that we serve a God who is bigger than our problems, stronger than our fears, and more faithful than we could ever imagine. When we anchor our trust in God's promises, we tap into a reservoir of hope that never runs dry. We can take comfort in knowing that we're not facing our battles alone, that God is right there beside us, fighting on our behalf. And as we look back on our lives, we can see countless examples of God's faithfulness. Times when He provided for our needs, healed our hurts, and carried us through the storm. These moments serve as reminders of His unwavering love and serve as beacons of hope in the darkest of nights. So today, I want to encourage you, whatever you're facing, whatever giants stand in your way, hold fast to your faith. Let it be the anchor that steadies your soul and the light that guides your path. For with God on our side, we can face anything that comes our way, knowing that victory is already ours. But what about when doubt creeps in? When we question why God allows suffering? It's natural to wrestle with these questions, but remember, faith isn't about having all the answers. It's about trusting in God's goodness, even when we can't see the bigger picture. Doubt is like a shadow that follows us, especially in times of hardship. It whispers lies, making us question our faith and God's intentions. But it's important to recognize that doubt is not the enemy of faith, it's a part of the journey. Just as Jesus' disciples doubted Him at times, so too will we face moments of uncertainty. When doubt knocks on your door, don't push it away. Instead, invite it in. Explore your questions, wrestle with your doubts, but don't let them consume you. Turn to God's Word for answers, seeking wisdom and guidance in His promises. Remember, God is not afraid of your questions. 
He welcomes them with open arms, ready to reveal His truth to those who seek it. It's also helpful to lean on your faith community during times of doubt. Surround yourself with fellow believers who can offer support, encouragement, and perspective. Share your struggles openly and honestly, knowing that you are not alone in your journey. And above all, trust in God's character, even when you don't understand His ways. Remind yourself of His faithfulness throughout history, how He has always been there for His people, even in their darkest moments. Trust that He is working all things together for your good, even when it feels like everything is falling apart. So embrace your doubts, but don't let them define you. Use them as opportunities to deepen your faith, to seek truth, and to draw closer to God. And remember, the opposite of doubt is not certainty, it's trust. Trust in God's unfailing love, His unchanging character, and His perfect plan for your life. In the depths of our pain, it's easy to lose sight of any purpose or meaning behind our suffering. But what if I told you that even in our darkest moments, there is purpose to be found? Consider the story of Joseph from the Bible. He endured betrayal by his own brothers, sold into slavery, and falsely accused, spending years in prison for a crime he didn't commit. Yet, through it all, God was at work, weaving together a beautiful tapestry of redemption. You see, Joseph's suffering wasn't meaningless. It was a part of God's greater plan to save his family from famine and ultimately to bring about reconciliation and forgiveness. In the end, Joseph declared to his brothers, you intended to harm me, but God intended it for good to accomplish what is now being done, the saving of many lives. Genesis 50 verse 20 Likewise, in our own lives, God can bring beauty from our pain. Our struggles can shape us, refine us, and ultimately lead us closer to Him. Perhaps it's through our suffering that we learn to empathize with others, to cultivate compassion and grace, or to discover a deeper sense of purpose in serving others. But finding meaning and redemption in our pain doesn't mean that the suffering itself is good. No, it's the result of God's unfathomable ability to work all things together for the good of those who love Him. Romans 8 verse 28 It's the hope that even in our brokenness, God can bring healing, restoration, and redemption. So as you journey through your own valleys of pain and suffering, hold on to this truth that even in the darkest of nights, God is still at work bringing about his purposes and ultimately bringing beauty from ashes. Trusting God, especially when life feels overwhelming, often requires deliberate actions on our part. Here are some practical steps you can take to nurture and strengthen your trust in God. 1. Prayer and Meditation Take time each day to pray and meditate on God's Word. Pour out your heart to Him, sharing your joys, fears, and struggles. As you spend time in His presence, you'll find peace and clarity amidst life's storms. 2. Seeking support from your faith community. Don't walk this journey alone. Surround yourself with fellow believers who can offer encouragement, prayer, and support. Together, you can lift each other up and remind one another of God's faithfulness. 3. Reflecting on past experiences of God's faithfulness. Look back on moments in your life when God has shown up in miraculous ways. Remember how He has carried you through past trials and challenges. By recalling His faithfulness, you'll be reminded of His enduring love and care for you. 4. Studying God's Promises Dive into God's Word and study His promises. From cover to cover, the Bible is filled with assurances of God's presence, provision, and protection. Memorize these verses and hold on to them tightly, especially during times of doubt and uncertainty. 5. Choosing Gratitude Cultivate an attitude of gratitude in your daily life. Even in the midst of pain and hardship, 
there is always something to be thankful for. By focusing on the blessings God has bestowed upon you, you'll find your trust in Him growing stronger. 6. Stepping out in faith Trusting God often requires stepping out of your comfort zone and into the unknown. Take bold steps of faith, knowing that God is leading and guiding you every step of the way. As you step out in faith, you'll experience His provision and faithfulness in new and unexpected ways. 7. Surrendering Control Let go of the need to control every aspect of your life. Instead, surrender to God's sovereign will and trust that He knows what's best for you. Release your worries and anxieties into His capable hands, knowing that He is working all things together for your good. By incorporating these practical steps into your daily life, you'll find your trust in God growing deeper and stronger, even when life hurts. Remember, He is faithful, and He will never leave you, nor forsake you. Trust in Him, and you will find peace that surpasses all understanding. And finally, let me leave you with this. No matter what you're facing, never lose hope. Life's trials often test our endurance and resilience, pushing us to our limits. Yet, it's during these challenging times that our faith is truly put to the test. Perseverance isn't about merely enduring hardships. It's about pressing on with hope and determination, knowing that God is with us every step of the way. Again, let's recall the story of Joseph in the Bible. He faced betrayal, slavery, and imprisonment, yet he never lost hope in God's promises. Despite the odds stacked against him, Joseph persevered, ultimately rising to a position of power and influence. His story reminds us that even in our darkest moments, God is working behind the scenes, orchestrating his perfect plan for our lives. But how do we hold on to hope when everything around us seems to be falling apart? It starts by fixing our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith. He endured the cross, despising its shame for the joy set before him. In the same way, we can endure hardship, knowing that our suffering is only temporary compared to the eternal glory that awaits us. Perseverance isn't a solo journey. It's about leaning on God and drawing strength from his presence. When we feel weak and weary, we can call upon His name and find refuge in His unfailing love. It's through our dependence on Him that we discover the power to keep going, even when the road ahead seems long and arduous. So take heart, dear friend, and don't lose hope. Remember that God is faithful to His promises and He will never leave you nor forsake you. Whatever you're facing today, know that it's not the end of your story. Keep pressing forward, knowing that with God, all things are possible. As the psalmist declares, weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Hold on to that promise, for the dawn of a new day is just around the corner. In conclusion, as we navigate life's challenges, let us cling to the hope we have in Christ. Let us persevere with unwavering faith, knowing that our struggles are temporary but the rewards of our faithfulness are eternal. May God grant you the strength to endure and the courage to hope, for He is the source of our perseverance and the anchor of our souls. As we surrender our trust in God, let's take a moment to communicate with Him through prayer. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, in the midst of the storms of life, we come before you seeking your comfort, your strength, and your peace. We acknowledge that life can be filled with pain, sorrow, and uncertainty. We face trials that test our faith and challenges that shake us to our core. Yet, in the midst of it all, we turn to you, knowing that you are our rock, our fortress, and our deliverer. Lord, we confess that trusting you when life hurts isn't always easy. There are moments when doubt creeps in, when fear overwhelms us, and when our hearts are heavy with grief. But in those moments, help us to cling to your promises, to trust in your goodness, your wisdom, 
and your unfailing love. Remind us that you are the God who sees us, who hears our cries, and who never leaves us, nor forsakes us. Father, we draw strength from the examples of faith found in your word. Like Job, who endured unimaginable suffering, yet remained steadfast in his trust in you, may we too persevere through the trials we face. Give us the courage to surrender our worries, our doubts, and our fears at your feet, knowing that you are able to do immeasurably more than we could ever ask or imagine. Teach us, Lord, to find meaning and redemption in our pain. Help us to see beyond the darkness, to the beauty that lies ahead, to recognize that even in the midst of our struggles, you are working all things together for our good. May our trials lead to growth, to resilience, and to a deeper intimacy with you. Heavenly Father, we lift up to you those who are hurting today, those who are battling illness, grieving loss, facing financial hardship, or struggling with doubts and fears. Wrap them in your arms of love, Lord, and bring healing to their hearts and minds. Help them to trust in your unfailing love and to find hope in your promises. As we journey through the valleys of life, Lord, may we never lose sight of your presence. Guide us with your light, Strengthen us with your grace and fill us with your peace that surpasses all understanding. Help us to trust in your timing, your ways, and your plan for our lives. And now, Lord, we surrender our hearts, our lives, and our struggles into your hands. May your will be done in us and through us, both now and forevermore. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. May this prayer serve as a beacon of hope and encouragement to all who are facing adversity, reminding them of God's unfailing love and faithfulness, even in the darkest of times. Amen. Friends, trusting God even when life hurts isn't always easy, but it's worth it. So as you go forth from this message, remember, you are not alone. God is with you, guiding you through the valleys and lifting you up on the mountaintops. Trust in Him, and you will find peace that surpasses all understanding. If this message has touched your heart, I encourage you to share it with others who may need to hear it. Leave a comment below, subscribe to our channel for more inspirational content, and remember to trust in God, even when life hurts.